Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture Football, joined by Adam Cleary from What Culture Football to discuss the breaking news that after three seasons, 149 games, 104 wins, eight finals, and eight final wins, Zinedine Zidane has left Real Madrid. A bit of a shocking announcement that early. Yeah, wasn't it? I mean, we got told he was making a press conference at 1 p.m. UK time. So, ooh, what's that going to be? <laughs> Do you think he might resign? <laughs> and he did. So that's kind of come. Out of nowhere. He won a Champions League every 10 months. Wow. He averaged that. What a flex that is. And now he's just off. Now he's away. Because, yeah, we weren't sure whether he was going to announce a new contract or news about Bale or Ronaldo. And he just went, your problem now, boys. Bye. Head-butted Florentino Perez in the chest, walked straight down the tunnel. He's off. Has any manager ever come into a club, done as well in such a short space of time, and then just gone, yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. Reckons the players need a change. That's what he said. Is that what he said? That's what he said, the big liar. Wow. Yeah, three Champions Leagues, two FIFA Club World Cups, two UEFA Super, Super Cups, Cups, a La Liga, La Liga and... and uh, Super Copa de España, which I think translates to the Spanish Super Trophy. Is it? No, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, fairly good going. So <laughs> let's start off with Real Madrid. What is next to them? I think some of the favourites to take over are Conte, Guti, Wenger and Pochettino. <laughs> my heart, my mind, my body, my soul, everything about me is ready for Arsene Wenger to take over oh. Real Madrid and banter Arsenal off in the uh, quarterfinals of the Champions League. I want, I don't ask for much, gods of football. I'm a Newcastle fan, I know it's not my place to ask for things in football, but I'm asking you directly, any of you that are watching, spirits, beings, whatever you are, please, 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 please give Arsene Wenger the Real Madrid drop. Jujie drop, Jujie drop, the Madrid job. Or feeling that Pochettino, because that would say, also be hilarious. Uh, that's not going to happen because if I was a Spurs fan, <laughs> what was it you said to me when that announcement Pochettino was going to go in and say he's going to walk straight into the uh, the chairman's office at Tottenham and go just um, not no big thing, uh, just not just asking for a friend. How much am I getting to spend this summer? Is that right? Yeah, you know, just I was just checking. I just thought it'd be interesting to know. Yes, uh... tell you what, I'd be worried about if I was Didier Deschamps. I'd be finding out how watertight that new France contract of mine is because there will be a national clamour for Zidane to get that job if France don't win the World Cup yeah I think pretty good squad haven't they I think Uh, Conte to Real that would be God can you imagine all the you get Zidane, like a hero of the club, a thoroughly nice bloke gets his arm around you wants to encourage everyone to be the best they can be then Conte comes in Triple training sessions, you only get to eat raw meat, you have to live <laughs> in a kennel, you get cracked over the back with a whip every Friday night before the game. Yeah, it'd be different, wouldn't it? Definitely it'd be different. Didn't. Uh, I'm going to put this out there. Man, not in work at the moment. Sam Allardyce. Is that what you're going to say? I was either going to say that or pods. Pods, I'd say pods. Well, Sam Allardyce has gone on record to say that he'd be more suited to an Inter Milan or a Real Madrid than he would to say a Blackburn or a Stoke. So cometh the hour, cometh the Sam <laughs> for me. He probably just would come in and just go, right, attacking boys, you just keep doing what you want. And then he'd actually sit down with Marcel. Bartender, go. garçon, pint of wine. <laughs> pint of gravy, please. Um, yeah, he's probably going to sit down with Marcelo and go, so you're a defender, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so who knows who's going to Sam Allardyce would see Marcelo and go, wasn't he one of the twins at Man United? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was he? Um, where next for Zidane? Uh, I can't see him managing a football club he never played for, such as his aura and his mystique. Mm -hmm. So I think it's either come in and take over the France side, get them to another World Cup, or try and end the event. This is a long wait for another Champions League. Very interesting. That's how I'm calling it. What happened to the last Real Madrid manager? Where did he ever end up? I don't know. No idea. Rafa's tricky mags. Uh, and what for Bale and Ronaldo? There's been a lot made. Whoa, this changes things, doesn't it? No, now. yeah. Because, they, I mean, Bale wasn't guaranteed pitch time, so he definitely wanted to leave. That I heard all change under a new manager. Yeah, I heard that Zidane didn't speak to Bale for three hours after the Champions League final. Neither did I, to be fair. Fair. L way long after that. Yeah, I, he didn't. Which you'd think, I mean, if it was you, if you were the Real Madrid manager and he'd scored that goal, you'd have been on the, you wouldn't be letting them kick off. Oh, no. Afterwards, you'd be like, oh, yes, okay, cool, you scored. Um, they should never let us to do the news again. No. This is just us in the pub, isn't it? Yeah. Dreadful. Yeah, wrap it up. Uh, yeah, and what for Ronaldo? Uh, he did what he wants. He's still going, isn't he? He's still he? going. Yeah. 
He probably knew about Zidane going before. Probably his idea. Claude did, yeah. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, though. Who will be the next Real Madrid manager? Should it be Alan Pardew? Uh, what next for Bale and Ronaldo? And what next for Zidane? It all bodes very well for the World Cup, which is just two weeks oh, away. Oh, it's football. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Adam from What Culture, joined by Adam from What Culture. And we will see you soon.